Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are back again with another brand new problem solving video. In this video, we are going to talk about a very nice problem, spirally printing a matrix, one of my personal favorites as well. Why? Because this problem does not have any specific algorithm or data structure knowledge as such. It is a very ad hoc problem and mostly based on testing your implementation skills. So I like these kind of problems where they do not rely on someone uh, knowing about an algorithm beforehand. So this is one such type of problem. So without wasting any further time, let's dive right into the problem statement. Before jumping into solving the problem directly, let's just first talk about something. So I've been writing a blog from few days and what I'm thinking is a lot of you guys would not have time to watch a complete video of 10 minutes or 15 minutes like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my videos as well. Like one of the videos will discuss the problem statement and the approach to solve the problem. And in the other, another part of that video, I'm going to write the code to solve that problem. Apart from that, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to post all the content that I have on a blog so that those who don't want to take a look at the video can obviously take a look at the blog because obviously text is faster than video, right? But in case we get stuck, the video is always there and you can come back and you know take a look at it. So if you appreciate the effort, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The problem statement goes something like this. We have a matrix uh, of order M cross N, M rows and N columns. And we have to basically find an algorithm so that we can start printing this matrix spirally, starting from this element, the zero comma zero element, going all the way till the end of the spiral. Right, so the output would look something like 1, then 2, then 3, then we go down, 6, 9, then we go left, 9, 8, 7, then we go on top again till 4, then right again till 5, and we have printed all the elements. Like this, we have to print this uh, matrix in a spiral order. The link for my blog would be put in the first comment, which is pinned by me. Alright, so now let's come back to the problem. So. Uh, the problem is basically we go from, we print the first row going from left to right. Then we print the rightmost column going from top to bottom. Then we print the bottommost row going from right to left. Then we already have printed the first row. So while going to top, we only go top till the second row, right? And again, starting from here, we only go right till the point where we have not printed, right? So it's, you know, something like boundaries are coming in my mind. Like I can have a boundaries of top, left, right, bottom, and, you know, move around between them. So let's call these boundaries as, you know, variables as top, left, right, pardon my bad and writing as usual, top, left, right, bottom. So initially my top can be zero, right? My left can be the number of, uh, my left can also be zero basically because I'm starting from zero comma zero. This is my top initially and this is my, sorry, uh, this is my, one second, what, what, um, this is my left and this is my top as well, right? Now, right would be this value, basically this entire column. What is it? It's basically the number of columns. So it's not zero, it's it's basically, uh, right is basically the number of, which in this case is three, the number of columns and the number of rows will be bottom, which in this case is also three. Now, let's go and print this matrix using these boundaries. So we start from here, the top left, and we have to go to the top right, right? So we are traveling from, let's see, let's, this is top left, this is right, and this is bottom. This entire thing is left, okay? We are traveling from left to right, right? So while traveling, I mean, I'll just write it as pseudo code. So from left to right you are traveling from left to right. Now, from left to right, print each of these values, one, two, three, what is it? The row is constant and the column is changing and the column is denoted by, for each i, right? I can write as that for each 
i from left to right print this matrix i am call it mat of row is constant what is row row is the topmost right this is top this is bottom this is left and this is right right so we have print matrix row of top and the changing value is column we'll call it i right and once we have printed this top row we do not want this top row to be printed again because all the values are printed so we do we increment top so top becomes top plus 1 right and also let's again let's just quickly let me have 7 8 9 right so we have top plus 1 now now we go from here to here down right so 3 is already printed top is already incremented now i go from top to bottom so for each i from so i'm going to do for i from top to bottom right now here rows are changing and column is constant what is the column the rightmost value right and we have that as stored as right the right boundary so we'll print matrix of row is changing right and row is denoted by i so i from and i of and then this is obviously right now minus 1 or something that's we going to take care in implementation here i'm basically discussing uh, the logic to solve the problem the bounds obviously would change when we actually implement this any programming language so that's for another part now we have come till here now the next part is to go from here to here but we already have printed 9 which means we have to make sure that we do not print this right column again so we do right goes to right minus 1 right right cannot go plus 1 right has to come behind so that if you do plus 1 then again the loops can go to 7 8 9 and ahead so we have to come back so right goes to right minus 1 right and now let's print from right to left so now right will become this value so for i from right to left right print now the row is bottom and column is changing which is denoted by i all right so here we have uh, in this way so 1 2 3 6 9 8 7 is printed now we already have printed the bottom row so we have to again not print that bottom row again so how what do we do bottom is already the bottom most row right so we have to bottom do bottom minus 1 okay so we do bottom goes to bottom minus 1 and the last thing to do is from now we are here we are already printed here we are we are here now okay now what we have to do is we have to print from here to till here only right and we don't have to print one as well right so what we already have top incremented so top points over here so what we do is we go from bottom to top and bottom is already incremented so we have we are already here so from bottom to top now for i from bottom to top print what's changing here the rows are changing i and it's the leftmost column and then after doing this we do left goes to left plus 1 So we increment left, and then the same cycle continues. So here we are only left with printing five. So now the only thing to take care in this approach is in this algorithm is when do we stop? So we can stop when basically our we can do this process unless we have left less than right and top less than bottom, right? This is the point we reach in the center. After that point. uh basically we uh, print duplicates so that's so that's what we can basically run this process while we have these conditions true 
so with that we reach the end of the discussion section now i hope you enjoyed watching the discussion if yes do give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also don't forget to press the bell icon because you don't want to miss any of the future updates right these questions are very interesting and i would like all of you to solve these questions as well now as i said the link to the blog is in the first pinned comment you guys are welcome to check the blog as we know reading text saves time over uh, watching a video and anytime you get stuck the videos are right there for you, you can come back and check them so with that i end this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this take care bye bye